Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 3 Vegas. Um, yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, where we left off, we got to the end of Vault 101, right? We got there, I shot Amada in the face and I left. Um, and I was editing my character, but my character did not want to be created, but I will change that. Ah, time to exit Vault 101. No. So my game doesn't crash. Slug's ungodly presence does not deserve to roam the wastes. Ah, there she goes. Look at me. I have been unleashed into the world. <laughs> wow, I look like a fucking puppet, dude. And I leveled up. Aw, oh, Slug's getting a nice warm welcome into the outside world. Yeah, I'm a bit of a lady killer. Slug's a bit of a lady killer. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, hell yeah. This guy gets hella bitches. There's no way. Oh, wow. He just looks so happy to be here, honestly. Springvale. What a quaint little town. Awesome! My first kill! Well, not actually. I, I killed those guards, didn't I? And Amada. Well, I don't think I killed her, but... You know. Well, now that I've been unleashed upon the waste, I think it's about time I cause some chaos, don't you think? Now, will I cause- Wow, that's a big ant. Absolutely incredible. Aren't you supposed to have a hat on? Deputy Weld. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Goodbye, Deputy Weld. I'll be dead. Another newcomer. Hello. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. Your lips look a I little blue. Why, You've been I eating like those um boy. blue Something flames talking. Right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. Ah, Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Uh, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Um, let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Uh, don't you think somebody should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Interesting. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Hmm. I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100... A hundred measly caps? Uh, I don't need a reward. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't... You know, go blowing us up. All right. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you could help me? I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember. Oh, now you remember, okay. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. I have to go now. Well, not yet. Not yet. Ooh. Slug's a little, feeling a little devious today, isn't he? Pulled out his gun on the sheriff for no particular reason, just because. What are you looking at, boy? Shut up, Walter. What are you looking at, boy? Well, to be fair, I don't think I would like somebody looking like this to Sarah me either. I mean, like, Jesus Christ, do you see the, like... Got this look in his eye. Anyways. Hello, man in a suit. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. 
Every day it's the same thing. What's the matter, Smoothkin? I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. What do we have here? The Enclave's... My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Ble Blake. <laughs> Mr. Burke is a... Please continue, I found myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs mm. or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Hmm. Wait, you wanna destroy the town? <laughs> no, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Hmm. All right, Mr. Burke, I'll do it. Megaton will burn. Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? It's time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. Station comes in fine. All right, goodbye. Galaxy News. Their signal's been Ah, my first call to mischief. Shut up, Gob. Hey, be more careful. Hey. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Shut up, Moriarty. Welcome to Moriarty. Fucking Irish bastard. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven. You're in D.C. There's no way you have an Irish accent. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Mm, My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Uh, look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I don't have a hundred caps. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Hmm. No favors. Fine. Go find Daddy yourself, then. I'll be here when you change your mind. Hey, Mariotti, you should get out of here so I could access your silly little terminal. I don't think I have to... Yeah. Fine, then. I'll just go fucking blow your place up. Rig the bomb to explode. Goodbye. Can I tell him? Yeah. I've rigged a bomb to explode. Men, oh well. Women and children of the earth come Now I have full health, and now I'm. Oh my god, what? Vilified? Yeah, I kind of, um, I would figure. <laughs> Hi, losers. Come get me, come get me, come get me. Up. Oh. 
Wow. Okay. All right, goodbye. Hey, Tim Can. You don't know what happened down there. Ah, oh, time to go to Tenpenny Tower. Blow a megaton. Wait, actually, wait. Hell yeah. Ooh, Sheriff Slug. Reporting for duty. No, if that's not hard, I don't know what is. I think... I think Slug's had enough of being a bully. Or of being bullied, actually. So now he's gonna be the bully. Willie? Oh, <laughs> Willie, you silly man. What are you doing walking around? You just sitting around with, with Slug out and about? Come on, man. You should know better. And my game crashed. Wow. Okay. Well. I, I guess I'll pick up recording later. I'll... Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, so basically I lost the audio of this recording, so I'm going to give you a recap of what happened in it. While I was on my way to Tenpenny Tower, I met an exiled group of the Brotherhood of Steel, and they... We call ourselves the Outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And they offer me payment in the form of medical supplies and or ammunition if I bring them... Power armor energy weapons, and all sorts of advanced technology. Basically, the outcasts are my new primary way of getting stim packs. Once I was done chatting with the outcasts, I decided to get my ass to Tenpenny Tower finally. Once I got there, I met a fellow named Willie at the gate, and... Well, I think you all know where this is going. Once I was done talking to Willie, I got to the gate where a domestic altercation was happening. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Once those two were done bickering, I went up to the intercom where they promptly let me inside. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Once I got inside, I took the elevator up to see Mr. Burke and Tenpenny. When I got up to the balcony, they were both waiting for me and... To be honest, I think I'm just gonna let this play out. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah. <sighs> The anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter than bright. You don't see that very often. And with that, Megaton is no more. And because I assisted them with blowing up Megaton, they decided to give me a room and 500 caps as a reward. I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Tenpenny Tower. Here's the key and deed to your new master suite. It's on the top floor, first door on your right from the elevator. Enjoy your new accommodations. Once I was done reaping the rewards for blowing up a town and dozens of town folk, I decided to talk to Mr. Tenpenny about ghouls living in the tower so I can turn over a new leaf. I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. And like an angel sent from above, I made it my mission to help those poor, poor ghouls get into Tenpenny Tower so that they may live among the filthy rich. But, unfortunately, I was too low of a level to convince the people of the tower to take in their ghoul counterparts. Because I was too low of a level, I decided to go out into the waste to level up. My very first stop, the ruins of Megaton, which promptly crashed my game. 
Once I booted my game back up, I found this little house that somehow wasn't blown away in the blast. When I got inside, there was a lady that owed that Irish bastard Moriarty some caps. So I told her I worked for him, and she gave me said caps. Then I killed her, and it turns out that she still had a hundred whole caps. Stingy bitch. And from here on, there's not really anything of note. I killed a couple raiders, killed more raiders... Oh, and I found this. God damn. That's right, baby. On my travels to the waste, I found an M1897 trench gun. And this is now my primary weapon of choice. Well, to be completely honest, that's all I got this episode. I still haven't leveled up, and because I blew up Moriarty, I don't have a lead to find my dad anymore. I apologize for the lackluster ending, and for the pretty short episode. I know you may think that 60 minutes is pretty long, especially for what I normally upload, but this series, I want it to be much longer than my normal videos. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it, and I hope to see you when I upload my next one. Uh, goodbye.